My God, that thing is so big. Nice keeper right there, guys. Here we go Holy again, guys. You guys. My rod almost went in the water. Feel discontent. I'm finally facing it all. Fearless. <laughs> Zero sales tax. Oh. Just came here to re spool this sucker. Lost a bunch of line when I broke my rod. <laughs> What's going on here? Everything's gone. Suffix. We found Pontes. Oh dang, look at these big swim baits for sale. What is going on? Yep. Got a lot of you on there. I think I had 65 on there, Brad. I just pretty much want the same thing. I just want to get more line on it. Yeah. You just want white again? Yeah, let's do white. You guys are uh, remodeling? Oh yeah, just kind of rearranging. Okay. Yeah, we uh, had a bunch of people quit. One of the ma or the managers both quit. So we brought in a new manager now. Just remodeling based off his ideas. Really? Oh man. I was like, hopefully this place is not shutting down. I saw it was going like pretty empty. I was like, oh no. No. What do you got? Anchovies. You got some anchovies? Those are some of the best baits. Get it. Rod's all spooled up. We got some 65 pound Power Pro braid on here. They didn't have white. I wanted white, but it's okay. I think it'll do the same job. And we're gonna go head out and pretty much will cash this out. So that's the best part about being in the loyalty program is that you get money off. And I got my braided line and the anchovies just for 10 bucks. Hell yeah. I didn't scare you? Okay. Are you gonna reel in a fish today? Yeah. Yeah? For daddy? Yeah. How big is the fish gonna be? Show me with your hands. That big? All the way around your back? And oh my gosh, that's gonna be massive. Around the back? Huh. <laughs> it's gonna be so big. You could wrap the fish around your waist like a bat. Yeah. That's how fish how big the fish is gonna be, baby? Yeah. That's what I'm talking Man. about. Man, that's gonna be some good good fighting okay let's get to it okay the wagon's all set i got two chairs on my back she got her her bag in her hand and ada's trying to roll over the pump here good job mama wow muscles good job okay here hey we made it and that's why they call it Salt's Point. That's a bunch of salt right there, babe. It's a bunch of salt. You see all the crystals? Looks like crystal. Oh, it's shiny. Pretty cool, huh? Today we are here over in Napa and this is some type of a uh, marsh that I don't know feeds in from somewhere from here. I think it comes underneath this area because this spot looks somehow. deeper and looks like more water moves through there. So it cuts into the actual landscape. But anyways, we're going to be fishing here. This is the main, main side we're going to try to fish and this is the mud slough over here in Napa. 
and we're just gonna go for stripers unfortunately this area is a little bit muddy for us for the girls so we're gonna set up up here and i did not bring any boots and you guys can already see my shoes muddy. got a little bit submerged already so and it's, yeah it's not from like rain it's the tide comes yeah. up this high so yes Tide comes up this high, and you guys can tell by the winds, it is slightly windy. Probably 10 to 15 miles per hour. And um, yeah, I'm probably gonna make a cast from down there and move my rod up here, just because I don't wanna deal with all that mud. But the tide is gonna come up today around, I think, four to five o'clock. And um, it's currently like 11 o'clock right now, and that's about to be like seven feet today. So it's definitely gonna be up here. Uh, farther in the day so um yeah we're gonna get all set up the rod i got some new line on there from the last time i broke my sp surf rod over there in uh tamales i lost a bunch of line that day unfortunately i couldn't retrieve it all back but um yeah we went over there to outdoor we spooled that up i'm ready to get all set up what about you little one you ready to catch a fish you ready to catch a fish you're gonna reel one in huh ah, ah! okay so yeah yeah you so it, we're gonna set up and i'll see you guys out there here baby let's go come here i'll throw it to him because i can throw it far look at this honor guys he's super cute he's going for it i don't know if he wants it we'll see Just smell it and maybe come back up to get it he was totally chowing down on something else maybe like a little crab huh oh. that was cool I guess he doesn't want it. Maybe a big striper will come up and grab it. Oh, there he is. He got something else. Another crab? A little, that's a little, uh, what's it called? Bull, bullhead or bullhead? mud sucker. Mud sucker, okay. Look at him chow down on that sucker. Man, I should have brought some red worms. Catch them. See the bait fish right here? It's a oh, bunch yeah. of bait fish, a little small bait fish. Might be a striper nearby. Why is there a worm on your seat, you know? <laughs> oh my gosh. Look at the face. Mm, good. Yeah, these are not <laughs> nice. They have pinchers. They're vampire their worms. Oh. Oh, you got... Okay, oh. this is going to be our first date we're going to be using. We're using power worms. Mom, and I where just is just my. Did it? Did it? Has some you... juices? Come here, love. Come here, Bluey. <laughs> Pretty much all set up. Get this sucker going. I'm just gonna thread it up the hook. Uh -huh. Ooh, can <laughs> start bleeding out a little bit there. <laughs> Got you. Yeah, straight together. Oh, oh, oh you got a little squirter again. Smushies. Ooh, hold your breath or close your mouth, eh? And we might use a little bit of magic thread just to keep him on a little bit longer. That's a good idea. I have my magic thread in here. Is it in here? Somewhere in that hot mess. Thank you. <laughs> there she is. Found it. Found her. Okay. I gotta put it in my tackle box. Well, usually it's in there. Yep. I don't know what happened. Just gonna use a little bit. I don't want any of these. Little dinkies stealing my bait. Dinky. Okay, and we're set. Yeah. Yeah. Oh no, we're not set. <laughs> yeah. Oh, look at the worm. Who's it? Oh, you put the whole thing on, honey? This came loose. You guys put it. Do you want to stomp on the worm? Oh. <laughs> you need to put it. these suckers up. <laughs> <coughs> and the slough's not that wide, so we're just going to try to get it in the middle here. Just using a 5 aught weight. 5 aught, I mean a 5 weight. A little slider. Pretty much a fish finding rig. That's what we're gonna use, and I'm gonna get my sucker. Well, I'm gonna bring it back up here, so yeah, we're gonna go down there and make a cast and see if we can get our first fish on around here. We've never been here before, I'm kinda excited. So, this is connected to the Napa River, so I don't doubt that sturgeon's 
come through here but let's see let's get the first cast going oh my god i almost died slipping in the mud i'm just gonna cast it like right in the middle that looks good not crazy deep either and we're just gonna go back up here get through this maze of mud I need to invest in some rubber boots eventually eventually and there we go i'm just gonna sit up here and wait every time we're bottom fishing i do have my other rod maybe to throw a lure around eventually the spot looks like a really nice spot for a lure especially this side pretty sure some stripers get trapped down there or in this area and uh yeah put a bell on this sucker i'm just gonna sit and wait Must be really shallow here. Okay, so we decided to move to this side. We weren't getting that much action on the other side. And you can actually see the cloudiness of the water. So there's definitely a pipe system coming from the actual main slough to the right over here coming down from right here so i don't doubt there would be some stripers in here it looks like there's a bunch of trash around here and just people uh fishing here there's actually a bobber to the right over here and uh we're just gonna see if there's any fish in the area a bobber i don't know we saw an aura here earlier and it was actually picking up like probably bullheads or uh mud suckers so let's give this area a shot see if any stripers get trapped in here or not kind of reminds me of Bahia Marsh so maybe we'll get one maybe yeah. all we gotta do now is wait I just heard it go off. It's hallucinating right now. Or it's like a little bullhead. It's picking at it. You think so? It's like right here. Because it's like right here. Right in front of us. Yeah. They can, they'll pick at it. Oh, that was a good pick. Back? Yeah, still eating it. <laughs> it's a little bullhead probably. <laughs> Daddy did not get the fishy. <laughs> but he took all my bait. Yeah, so it might be a fish. Okay, so I've been getting a little bit more action on this side, which is crazy. So we're definitely gonna stay here and I'm literally throwing it within 15 feet of here, right there. That's just, that's all we need. I think this part gets dugged out by the water that comes in from the main channel. So it's a little bit deeper than I think over there. Cause I was throwing a, a row trap over there and I wasn't getting, I was getting a bunch of like uh, algae or not algae, uh, what is it called? <laughs> Some like seaweed type of stuff. So we're just gonna stick here. And while I was over here earlier, I thought the otter was making these massive like ripples and splashes around here, but I think they're massive stripers. That's what I'm thinking they are, but I'm not sure. All we can do is find out if we can actually hook up to one. And later on, I'll probably throw maybe a swim bait, maybe a jerk bait around here and see if we can get on something bigger. I'm getting some small hits here and there, but 
I'm actually getting hits on this side, so I think we're gonna focus on this area. This flew, honey. What? Yeah. Dad, was that you? No, that was not me. Unless I seen some something come up. Can... No, the otter's over there to the right. I oh. saw it. You be see an otter, Auntie Joey. Okay, wait a minute, Ada. Come over here. He's eating it. He's eating it. Come here, baby. Come, Come on. Who's eating it? Oh, why is my drag so loose? Yeah, I think there's some big stripers right here. It's already been in there for like two minutes. Look at that. Small hits. There's definitely something down there. I don't know if they're little dinks or what. Damn, they are destroying my bait. Okay, so I just got done doing a little bit of bottom fishing and they are still in my bait. Whatever's down there, I don't know if they're crabs, little dinks, they're just demolishing my bait. So I'm gonna throw a little swim bait around and see if we can catch one off of that. See if there's anything massive over here. Throw a little swim bait with the underspin underneath it. I did actually see a fish jump earlier, so let's see if um if that stripe if that was a striper or not. It might have been a shad, I don't know. Or some type of bait fish, but it was made a decent splash, so yeah. Really shallow over there. Yep, I'm getting all a bunch of that stuff on there. Those things are huge. There's some massive stripers over here, guys. No stinking way! Yeah, that was huge. Oh my god. That was a fat one. You seen him? Yeah. I saw him. That yeah, there's some big stripers in here, guys. Come on. You see the otter right there? He's just chilling looking at me. Oh, wow. Yeah, they're chasing the bait fish right there. That's coming out of this little spill or the little tube. That was a chunk. Yeah, he was fat too. Boy. That could have been the stuff eating my my bait, but you can't really tell if it's small or big. So look at that right there, dude. Oh, that thing is so big. Oh my god, I wonder if I got that on film. That's so cool to see. Oh my gosh, they're definitely chasing these little baits. Torpedo. I wonder if they're not liking the color. Oh, yeah, that thing's massive. Is it one or do you think a couple? I think it's tough. I think it's a couple, maybe two. But there two. definitely could be more. Oh, I had a bite, babe. I had a bite. I had a bite. 
Yeah, I had a bite. It was good. You guys better hurry up. That's what they're feeding on, guys. These little suckers. Sorry that happened to you, little buddy. But I might leave you on there just in case they want whatever they're getting. But oh, that right there. Oh my gosh. Those things are so big. I'm definitely going to have to loosen the drag on this one a little bit. Okay, the anchovies all set. Ready to get out there. The bell's still on the rod. I'm just gonna leave it on. Let's see what happens. Let's see if there's gonna be a massive striper to take this fish. And that's new bait in there, right? Yeah, look at these ripples. You see these ripples right here? Oh yeah. Those are all from the stripers coming like towards this side. Oh my gosh! Holy torpedo! You see what I mean? I told you that's them. That was them coming this direction. <laughs> And I don't know if I got that on film or not. Oh, these are so big. I got to be careful with the rod too. <laughs> yeah, stay close to it. Yeah, I got to stay close to it because if that thing takes it, it's gonna be it's gonna be a ride. Okay, so quick little update on how everything's going. We tried mud slough for a little bit. We didn't get really no hits. But we tried this area right in front of me with some uh power worms and we're getting hits left and right, but it might have been some dinky stripers or maybe some massive ones, I'm not sure. But we did see a feeding frenzy on these uh, bait fish that's in this area. You kind of see one right there. I don't know what that was, but <laughs> yeah, we've seen um, a nice feeding frenzy with some massive stripers just eating them. And now I'm just fishing off the bottom with anchovies. I ran out of the power worm because all those dinks were just eating it. But hey, look at this dead fish. Or am I, what is that? You see him? It just came up. Yeah, look at him. Oh yeah. It's right there and he's just swinging back and forth he's about to get demolished but um yeah um total of fish that we caught none so far oh we just had a little hit right now no i don't think so but yeah we're just sitting here just fishing out the bottom waiting for some massive stripers to hit this and uh until then we just gotta wait Oh my god, that thing is so big. I just seen him right there and he's chasing these small tiny bay fishes that, that are like this size. Oh right there. Oh my gosh. They're so big, baby. They have to go for my bait. See he's right here. See his ripples? You can kind of see them. He's massive. What? It's a big striper, Ada. Like so big. Like daddy's gonna have to play with his drag to bring the sucker in. What? Yeah. Is that one? Yeah, you could walk a little bit down this way. I know, that's where I'm gonna have to probably land the fish. Yeah. That size a, a, a decent size drop off, like a foot and a half or maybe more. Okay. Can't reach down. Cool. And he literally my bait's right there. And he's chasing these these other fish. These little guys. Little guys. When he can get full off an anchovy. Cause one of those fish are probably like 20 or 25 of those combined to make that anchovy. You can make one anchovy, yeah. Come on. They're that tiny. They're small. What do you need, like a crappie yeah, bait in there or what? Seriously. <laughs> <laughs> a little piece of... Is that log floating, honey? Yeah, that's what I got my hook stuck on and I got snagged right there. I thought it was My first snag of the day and I lost my hook. Oh, okay. You see these ripples right there? You see how they're they're shifting different directions like that? Yeah. That's that striper. Nice. I 
promise you that's it. There's nothing else in here that's going to create that yeah, besides yeah, that yeah. current. But the, the current is going that direction. When the ripples happen, they come this direction. Wow. So it's that fish just swimming by. Just See right there? Oh, yeah. That's him. Oh, my baby's confused. It's really hard for you to tell, baby. It's we're looking at the waves. You see the the little waves in the in the water, honey. Mm -hmm. That's what we're looking at. And I'm scared to catch it on the jerk bait because he might bend all the hooks. Come off, huh? and he might come off. Oh. Whoa! Oh, oh. Did you see that, mommy? Come here, mama. So they're kind of going far out there, kind of. He's over there, see him? See the ripples going that direction? Yeah. But they're staying right here. Let's yeah, see you see that? Back. Yeah. That's him, for sure. Oh, okay. I kind of understand now. My God, that striper is so big. Now they're back? Something's back. <laughs> Scared the living crap out of me. Oh, we got one, boys. We got one. We got one. We got one. Can I get the GoPro? Yeah, baby. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Yes, you guys. Oh, we got one. You guys, one. yes. Can you take out the bell, babe? Yes. Yes. Let's run, baby. Ah! You want to reel this one? It's too heavy. Oh, oh. Okay, it's okay. Hey, come on out. Come Yippee. on out. Let me help you. Come on, Daddy. <laughs> Sorry, guys. That's a nice one. Here, honey. Come on, baby. Help come on, Daddy. Hold it. How about you? Come on, Daddy. <laughs> and you can. Okay. Uh, you can go <laughs> she. Yeah. She really likes to be the the camera girl now. <laughs> Just like we're reeling, following her daddy's footsteps. Oh, really, baby? Keep reeling. Oh, you feel him? Hold on, hold on. <laughs> let him fight. Let him fight. Good job, baby. Whoa, it's okay. Don't let him pull her in. You pull it, baby. Reel it in. You got it, mama. This is a good one. Put your hand up here. Yeah, more leverage. There you go. Dad, hold Dad, on. Hold on. I'm nervous. <laughs> you feel him? Oh, yeah, he's still on Oh, there. yeah, look at that dink. He's still on there. So, after probably like three hours of fishing, this is our first hookup, and uh, it's a new spot. Sweet. We've never been here before. Keep reeling, baby. Keep reeling. You want Dad to give you a head start? Yeah. Okay, Daddy, come on. All right. Still Good on job. There. Still on there. Yeah. It's going to the left. Okay, Daddy's gonna come right here. Okay. He's, he's swimming right at us. Here, baby. Look at them. Look at them. Oh, yeah. Look at those ripples. Wow. Here. There you go, baby. He wants to get off. Yeah. There you go. There you go. Get him. Get him. Get him. Get him. Get him. Oh, see him? Oh. He's coming in. He's coming. Good job, eh? He's coming. Oh, that's a keeper. That's a nice keeper right there, guys. Wow. All right. Okay, look, Daddy, you see him? him? Oh, this is a nice one, guys. Wow. You can drop it, honey. Yeah. Oh, you got it? Okay, she wants the pull. Okay, he cool. looks like heavy. He's a chunker. What a fat boy. He's a chunker. We got you. We got, got you. <laughs> look at him, baby. Yes. Those are the big ones that were over here. Massive. Wow. Actually, yeah, we got one. I want to measure this guy and see how big he is. Okay. Uh, hold on, Sunshine. We don't know where the hook went. It's on the fishing it's a, Okay, oh, it's over here. Just because little A has no shoes on. 
Here, come sit next to him. Come sit. Let's see. See as long as you almost. Look at that. <laughs> as long as you, he's as long as your legs. Yeah. <laughs> see how big he is. Yeah, he's like what a chunk. Let's give him a flyer surface. Okay. Oh my god, look how thick he is. Then see the other way. Skinny. Mouth closed. Make sure we're doing it correctly. Yep. Just a 25 incher. Okay. Not beating my personal best, which yeah. is 26. Yeah. But he is a nice fish. They seem so much bigger over here, of course. Yeah. So we're gonna revive this sucker. We're not gonna uh we're he's not gonna take him. Here. We're gonna let him be. But we're just gonna revive him. Yeah. Get, get some pictures on him. He's, Look at your hand in his I'm mouth. getting a massive grip on him because when they shake on yeah. at this size, it definitely makes your hand do that little wiggle. Totally. A little wiggle. You wanna get down? So I'm just gonna get okay. some <laughs> Oh, what was hey, that? I wanted to go. <laughs> what happened? <laughs> Dirty water? Mm-mm. Bugs? So, <laughs> as I was getting water through his gills, this plant right here oh. went in my mouth. <laughs> oh, gosh. <laughs> We're reeling. Uh, but here she is. What a massive girl. You are gorgeous. Okay, baby. Come on here, my daddy. <gasps> careful, careful. Come on here, daddy. Look at this thing. It's as big as her. Oh my gosh. <laughs> gosh. Jesus. No oh, stinking yeah. way. Okay. Let's get him back in the water. Yeah. Then mommy take out the camera yeah. and we'll release He's him heavy. a bit. We'll release He's him a bit. <laughs> you gave okay. him a hug? Yeah. Good job. Okay guys, so we're still reviving the fish. Throughout some of our pictures, we were switching off and I kept grabbing the fish and putting him back in the water. He should be good to go. I'm still reviving him and I'm pretty sure he's ready to go. Yeah. And uh, if I let go, he'll probably just swim off right now. He's strong. And I'm thinking that's what we're gonna do. So take one last look at him. Look at the girth. He is massive. That's probably like six inches, five inches in girth. Look at that stripe. Oh, you wanna touch him one more time, Such honey? a gorgeous fish. Here yeah. you go, baby, touch him. Look at those stripes. Look, look how at that almost, blue. Look how almost how straight they are together, the lateral lines. They just look so amazing. So shiny. Okay. And like I said, we're not keeping this fish. We're gonna let her go and get even bigger, okay? You ready? All right, you release. Go, go, go. Come on. There you go. There she goes. Bye-bye. Oh, she's good. That's such a nice, calm release. I loved it. That was awesome. Hands are all dirty. It's okay. Worth it for the fish. Show Dada. Worth it for that fish. Yeah. Was that exciting, baby? Yeah. How was that was exciting? Yeah. That was a nice fish, huh? And you reeled part of it in. Was it so heavy? Uh-uh. It wasn't heavy? <laughs> Daddy took all the weight, that's why. What do you think, Mama? That was so fun. I'm so happy. It? Oh my gosh, that was such a nice striper. We haven't seen a striper in a long time. <laughs> well, we've seen them, but we haven't seen one that big well, a long time. Yeah. But okay, you know what right. I mean. You're right. New spot. And I think... And it produced. Yeah, and it produced. And we're definitely <laughs> going to make another trip out here one of these, you know, days or months. Yeah. Whenever I get another day off or whatever. But, uh, yeah. Let's see if we can catch another one. Okay, so... Oh, look, at there's one right there. <laughs> yeah, the one's feeding again over here. What? Yeah. Cool. But yeah, I mean, that's like one of the best feelings that when you come to a new area and you catch something, you know, when you, you pretty much hope for the best and you don't expect to catch anything. But that's like one of the greatest feelings just to come out here, get bit, catch a fish. And it doesn't really matter about size. If we caught a dink, I would have been happy. But just to show that they are here, you know? But we already had a good um, example or, you know, presentation to see that they're here because we just seen that, that feeding frenzy and those had to be stripers. And we seen the flashes, we seen the blow ups and we seen them come up and, and that's like a great feeling, I think, you know? We didn't even expect to catch anything with, especially with the anchovies. I mean, if they're fish, uh, feeding on bait, that's even better, you know? We have, obviously, anchovies which they're feeding on these little tiny little fishes that are like this small and they're just blowing up on them and 
I had a really good feeling with the anchovy because it's just the, almost the same thing but just more bigger. But um, I'm happy that one uh, ate. I'm happy we didn't take it home and it got to stay in the water, these waters, and just survive and get bigger. So I know people get a little upset taking the big ones, but I I do it more just for the sport. I sometimes take them for my mom. I personally don't eat them that much, but if my mom makes it, I might eat it. <laughs> but me, no. Yeah, we're just still sitting here waiting. Maybe get on a second hookup and just relax and enjoy this Labor Day. Yeah, plenty of daylight. You probably have like three hours of daylight and the tide's still coming up. And uh, yeah, this is Labor Day weekend, so happy Labor Day to everybody out there that's watching the video and all of you guys. You know, it, we, we finally did it too and we hit a thousand subscribers. Thank you guys. That's amazing. You know, I didn't expect that from um, this channel at all, but uh, that, that's an awesome feeling too. So hopefully I can keep pushing out this content for you guys and you guys can keep following us on our adventures so come on buddy thank you take it again we had two bites one actually got off and i just had another bite this is insane take it you're there Fuck you, pick at it again. Oh, he just ate in my hand right there. Got him. Oh, did I get him? No, he came off. Oh man. That's okay. That's crazy, huh? I felt I felt him pull it and he he came on the hook but it just came off right when I said it or like right when I hooked up. Two, three baits left. It's okay. I'm I'm already happy because we brought the other one in. And we might bring some more in. Yeah. He's they are they are liking the anchovies time. right now. And it is five o'clock, it's feeding. Yeah. <laughs> it's the time <laughs> when they eat. Yeah. Store it again in that same area. Come on. Come on, strappers. I think what's going on is this channel or this actual current is going through right there. So any bait fish that's going to go through there and get pushed by the current, it's going to go in that direction. Oh, there's one right there. Can I get that bell, babe? Oh. I don't think I really need it. Yeah. At this point, they're just hammering this bait right now. That's crazy. So that second bite that we just had right now, mm -hmm. hooked up, came off, and then we literally threw it in there, almost in the same exact spot, and uh, it bit within probably 30 seconds of being in the water. Less, yeah. More or less. Came back. I don't know if it's the same fish, but. So to speak, could be yeah. a third fish or could maybe be the, yeah. second fish, yeah. But we might've threw it like in the school or something right there. Yeah where they're just, you know, ambushing anything that comes by and they, they just probably ran their face and they just, boom, swipe at it. Uh, yeah. Beautiful bites. Yeah. Those are, those are nice bites. Yeah. These bites are like, they're not pecking at the bait. It's just nipping pieces of the fish off. They're actually inhaling it and taking off with it, Ooh. which is nice. And that's what we want. The little little diaper stripers are the ones that do that. Just peck at it most of the time. I wouldn't say they all do, but no, yeah, no, this is definitely different here. Yeah, and this wind—you guys can probably hear it—is yeah. picked up quite a bit. 
it is the end of, coming to the end of the day i think the tide is going to come up around five to six o'clock tonight and sorry 5 20 so it's almost at the high tide look at oh, see him oh here he comes yep. he might be he might jump right here somewhere i'm not jump right yep. nope. <laughs> that wasn't a jump but it was more like a swishing the tail or yeah something. you called it oh my god here we <laughs> go again guys you guys my rod almost went in the water I was look at the pole recording it's like dip yeah. down it almost went in the water i was taking apart what this rod what were you rod. doing anyway okay and i was literally <laughs> I'm trying to put a jerk bait on that rod <laughs> and we're on another one and i was sitting on the phone totally distracted oh. too it was so quiet and peaceful and Boom. This is a nice one. Oh boy. I feel the weight of him. Oh boy. Jesus, that was insane. <laughs> I thought the pole was going oh, in. Look at him. So big. Oh my god. Oh my. Oh, oh. Look, he's just swinging right there. <laughs> They're all in here. So oh, fun. I was borderline. I was close to losing my rod. Seriously, you guys. That was... It is a bait runner. But there's stripers. Hey, that sounded nice. Yeah. Oh, good. <laughs> good thing he was. Good thing he had that on. <laughs> oh, he's close by yeah. already. Yeah. Why wow, so strong? Probably almost the same size. Does Ada have that uh measuring tape? Yeah, we have it. It's back up there. Wow, wow. Sucker strong. Super cool. There she is. Gosh. Hold on, buddy. Hold on. I know you're trying to go. I know you're trying to go. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to get the best way to get them. The things about these stripers right here, too, they're chunky. Oh they my gosh, chunky. you guys. They're so, like, chubby. Yeah, chunky, chubby. This one would be a little smaller. Let's see. Oh, he was not going oh, nowhere. Look at that hook. It went inside, went on his bottom jaw. Beautiful. <laughs> Let me run up and go get the uh, measuring tape. Yeah, let's do it. Yeah? Mm-hmm. Okay. Bring you guys with me. Oh, You got him in the water. Did he almost pull you in? <laughs> Pretty much. <laughs> Look at the girth. Look at the girth on them. It's all chunky, bud. So chunky. Look at my hand. It's like so it's as wide as my hand. In your forearm. Yeah. <laughs> as thick as my leg. Yeah. Pretty much. Okay. All right, I got the... Water. The measuring tape. We'll measure this guy. Which he almost measure? took your pole in. This might be a little bit smaller Seriously. than the other one. Can you believe that? They're so strong. Can you, ask, can you see that tape? Mm -hmm. Please. Okay, it's not really the craziest, flattest surface. Can't really pinch his tail. You get an and idea. It's smaller. It's and it almost smaller. pulled my rod in. 22 inches. So strong. That is a nice size to take. Oh. <laughs> that is a really nice size to take. Should we take it to Grandma? To Mom? We can. I don't have a stringer. We'd have to. The only thing that I really don't like about this area, what they say, yeah. is that oh, right when we came in, mm -hmm. it's very toxic. Oh, so. I did read that sign. Yeah, yeah. I did read that sign. We, we better, go. we better release better it. Better luck. <laughs> All right, let's let him go. Let's do it. All right, bye bye. So fun. Good job, really, really. What are you guys throwing out? Shad. Shad. Yeah, I just kind of find the best bait to use. Yeah. So far, the only luck we've had yeah. is with the uh, chicken liver and shad. What are you guys for striper? Or in stuff, general, whatever we get. Yeah, we're not picky right now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there there's some monsters in here. Yeah. Well, earlier they were just blowing up left and right at these bait fishes. The bait fishers are like this small. Yeah. So I'm like, what the hell can I impersonate with that? Is yeah. that like a grub or something? But you know, I didn't have none of that. I thought I, th I threw a jerk bait around for a little bit. I thought it hooked up, but I don't I don't think it was. Probably yeah. it was the ground. Yeah, there's some nice ones in here. It's our first time coming out here. Yeah. It's like our third time. Yeah. Yeah. First time we fished over there. Uh huh. There was no, yeah. the algae wasn't that bad over there. Yeah. 
last few times, this time and last time, it was caked over there. Yeah. All you're going to do is, just like if you went over there, you're just yep. going to bring in all the algae. Yep. It's nice right here because all the current's pushing this way so nothing gets clogged up over yeah. here. So yeah, we probably had one bite since they came and we're probably, slow, it's slowing down. Wind's picking up like crazy now. And yeah. we're probably gonna call it a day here soon, you know. New spot, caught some fish. That's all what it's all about, new adventures. Okay. Oh, my baby's cold. I know. Come honey. on, Mama. Mommy, just get your shoe on. So. Hey. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like there was a baby in there. <laughs> Did they look? <laughs> oh, I didn't put her sweater in the diaper bag, babe. Good morning. Good morning. Hi. Ugly. At least a smiley, but. Who's happier now, see? Uh -huh. So happy. Yes. Ready to go? Daddy caught another fish when you were sleeping. It was like this big. Oh, did we take picture of that one? We did not take no pictures. <gasps> but got, it's okay. It's, it's okay. We it's got, okay. It we got the, we got the big one. We got the big yeah, one. In. Yeah. yeah. And we got on right camera to show you later, baby, okay? Yeah. Do you want to get a sweater on or blanket? Blanket. Blanket. Okay. Blanket. Okay. You ready to go? Yeah. Ready to go bye bye? Let's go. <laughs> Good luck, guys. Yeah, nice. yeah. Okay. Me too. Yeah, happy Labor Day. That's right. Alright, guys. So that's going to be it. That was part of a marsh that bled in from the mud slough. And um, it was a gorgeous area. And the best part about the area was seeing these massive stripers blow up on all these bait fish Whoa. and uh no. it was pretty darn cool <laughs> yeah you gotta be careful baby <laughs> yeah but uh i'm pretty sure one of those stripers were one of the ones that were over there just feeding on them we caught a 25 incher we caught a two inch or 22 incher and uh we had a bunch more bites that i missed so but the wind picked up yeah. and the sun is about to set in probably like an hour or two but and we use all your bait we used all my bait. All of it. Yeah. yeah. All my bait. The, we didn't catch anything on the power worms. We caught uh, everything mostly on the, the anchovies, which is awesome. You know, pretty inexpensive bait besides the sealed ones for like 10 bucks, roughly around there. But yeah, if you guys did like the video, please like and subscribe. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Keep it real. Keep it real.